Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're going to be learning about actions in LifeWire. Now in JavaScript, you've got certain browser events that fire off and you can use those events like for instance, a click event, a key down event, or a mouse up, a mouse over, all those kind of events you have in JavaScript. Now we can utilize those events with actions in LifeWire to actually listen for those events, then fire certain methods of that's inside your LifeWire component and basically re-render the component. All right, so that's what we're gonna be learning in this one. So let's go to our code editor and actually create that component. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this connect button to kind of fire off certain events and then we're gonna just Create something so that we can see actually what happens with this button right here. All right, so let's go to Visual Studio Code or whatever code editor you use and let's get started. All right, so in our code editor, let me just make this a little bit bigger for you guys so that you can see a little bit better. So this is my normal setting of how I view it. So let me just make it a bit bigger. All right, so open up your terminal. So obviously we need to create the component. So how do we create the component? I'm just gonna keep on doing this so that we can get used to how to create components and stuff like that. All right, so it's PHP, artisan, make component, uh, make life wire. I'm gonna call this one uh, connect. Think just connect button is kind of very descriptive All right so let's quickly go to the class as you can see we get two we get the class and we get the view right there so let's just go to our component in order to go there you go to app sdp live wire and you will see you've got your connect button right there all right so i want to use that connect button so we now we've got our view as well so let me just open up that view right there so let's go to our resources, views, pages, and the index. So I want to copy this connect button and put it in here. See you shortly. All right, so now what I want to do, I want to delete this and I actually just want to include my LifeWire component in here. So LifeWire and I want that connect button right there. All right, so let me just make a comment right here. All right, so let's go to a connect button. I just wanted to just put the laugh wire so that we know that this button is actually coming from this button right here. All right, so if I refresh this, as you can see, now this is laugh wire. Connect. All right, so that's good. Right, so we know that this button is our LifeWire component. Right, now in LifeWire, if we want to work with actions, only thing that we need to do is we need to add a wire like this, wire, and then we can add the browser, the dispatch browser event, and then we add the action. Now in this case, let's go for a click event. All right, now in order to get all of this, let me show you again. So wire like this. Right, and you can have a whole list of certain events or things that you can listen for. All right, as you can see, double click, cut, copy, paste, whatever the case may be. All right, so in order to get that, you go to your theme, let me just go there, and you want to go to LifeWire Language Support. Okay, just make sure you have that installed. Let me just go LifeWire like this. This language support right here by Sierra. It's part of our VS Code extensions that I've included in the channel. So if you want to watch those, you can go and do that. All right, but anyway, let's quickly add that wire click event right here. So this is the dispatch browser event that we're gonna to listen to, all right? Then we're gonna put an equal sign. And now this part is between the double quotes right here, this part right here is the action. 
that you need to perform. So whenever the button is clicked, all right, what action are we going to perform? And the action that we're going to perform is going to be between these double quotes. Now in this case, I'm just going to call it connect. You can call it whatever you want, but this connect right here needs to correspond to a method inside your control, in your LiveWire component. Okay, so let me just quickly do this public function, and I'm going to call this one connect. All right, so whenever that button is clicked, I'm just going to fire off a dime dump set connected like this. All right, let me do that. All right, so let's go to our browser. And actually, when we click this button now, it needs to fire off an event called connect. And then that event file is basically the method right here. All right, so we've got a click event that fires off and an action called connect. It fires off and then it calls on this method connect right here all right so let's quickly see if it works so let me refresh this so if we click connect we need to get the dime dump method inside our live wire component okay so let's click it as you can see it gives us that connected right there quite cool Right, so obviously that's not the only thing that we can do. Uh, we can actually do a key down and a key up. So if we press F12, let me just go in here. And let's open up our Dev Tools. Okay, now let's click on this button right here. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see, it's got an event attached to it, a listener. All right, so if we click on this event you will see it's listening for a click event right there as you can see if those that's used to javascript will know exactly what this means okay so let's go and put a key down event all right so in this case we let's let's go and put a key down event right there so key down and then we add a dot notation for whatever key down we're going to add. All right, in this case, I'm just going to put the enter right here. So whenever the key, basically, if we press the key down of enter, it needs to fire off this action, which is the connect method inside our LiveWire component. Just going to keep on repeating it. All right, so let's go to our browser and let's quickly fire it off. All right, so if I refresh now, Right, so we're still on the same component. If I click on the event, you can see it's listening now for a key down event right there. Okay, quite cool. Right, so let's quickly on this one right here, let's press the enter button and see what happens. Right, as you can see, I click the enter button and you can see it fires off that enter. Right, now the thing is, we can add with a kebab case, we can add different keys. Okay, now let's say you don't want to do an arrow up. Uh, in this case, an enter, we want to do an arrow up. We can do it with a kebab case, lowercase letters, and arrow up, or arrow down, like this. But let's go for arrow up, like this. Okay. Right, so in our browser right here, I'm going to click on that. And if we press the up arrow, as you can see, it fires off that event. And we listen for that event. And we dispatch the action to call on the method for the connect. Right, as you can see, it fires off right there. And I can give you a list of all the events in Mozilla. Pardon me, the key downs, all right, the different type of key downs. I will give you a list for that. All right, so the key values that you can get, I will link this for you in the description, and you can have them all of them here. All right, but just remember when whatever you use, use it in kebab case, lowercase letters, and obviously with a hyphen between them. All right, so let's use the caps lock and see if it works as well. Just something ridiculous. Let's use that. All right, so I change it to caps lock. And so let's quickly check if it fires off and it works. Right, so you can obviously do whatever you want, whatever events, whatever keys you want to listen to, you can do that. Now, as you can see, I press caps lock and it works right there.
Right. So, which brings us to our next topic, and that is actually if you want to pass a variable from this button right here to your actual action method that you're calling inside your component. How would we do that? Now, in this case, we can have the key down as well. So, just want to show you the other ones as well before I actually continue. The ones is key down, and then you have your key up. So, let me just do this. All right, so we've got our wire. Now, in this case, we can have our key down, all right, and then we've got our mouse over, mouse out, mouse leave. All right, so I'm not going to show you all of that, okay? And the other one, let me just show you the key up as well. As you can see, key down, key press, key up, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's move on. The next thing you can do is we're going to fire off a click event, all right? And we're going to call obviously on the connect right there. Now the thing is, how do we pass variables to that? Whatever, if we let's say we fire off that action. So this is our action method we're calling on inside here. Now this one is going to expect two parameters. It's going to expect a name. And the other one is going to be the last name. Like this. All right. So this is the parameters this method is expecting. All right. So how do we pass that from our click event right here to this right here? So in order to do that, we actually put a parenthesis around it and then we put them inside there all right so the first one that we're going to add is going to be john and the other one that we're going to add will be just dough like this all right but now the thing is right so this will always be now the name and this will be our last name but now you would not normally put in the values hard coded like this it will obviously come from your blade component all right so from with your blade laravel syntax so how do we do that you add actually just your syntax like this and then you add let's say for instance um this is the user or name like this and then the other one will obviously be added like this and the user dot last name but we obviously haven't defined it yet but i just wanted to show you that this is basically how you're going to call it like this. All right. So just with your blade syntax. But anyway, since I don't have the user, I'm just going to hard code the values right here just to show you that you can pass it through to your component right here. So what I want to do is I just want to die and dump the name and the last name. All right. So let's do that quickly. All right. So we're going to listen for a click event. And so if we fire that off, the browser does fetch it. So if we click right there, as you can see, we've got our John and we've got the Doe. So that's basically our name and this is our last name. All right. All right. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about some magic actions in LiveWire. Right. So let's go to our connect button right here. Now the first one that we're going to talk about is the refresh. All right. So we can add it just like here with our just a dollar sign and we can add the refresh like this. All right, so what this one will do, it will basically will re-render the component without firing any action. All right, the next one is basically we can actually set. All right, and this one can be, in this case, we can Let's say let's say we set something. The, if we can remember, All right? So what I've done, I just created a public variable in our connect component called name. All right. So I'm not going to fire off this method. So in here, I'm just going to basically display the name right there. So what we can do, we can set the name. All right. The public property that we having in here. All right. That we have access to. And we're just going to set it to John Doe. Right. So whenever we click the button, it needs to say connect John Doe. So let's quickly do that. Right. So if I press this button right here, let me just close this off. As you can see, it just sets the value. Right. The next one that we have is called toggle. 
All right. Now, this one is if you want to set a Boolean value basically to true or false, basically toggling on and off, you use the toggle and you just add the property right here. All right. The next thing is you're going to add emit like this. This is if you want to emit a browser event. Okay. So this will emit an event basically on the global event bus and provide the parameters so basically you can name the event like this event the name of it and obviously the parameters right here okay. right and that's it for this one guys and i will link this in the description so if you want to go and read more about it you can do that all right Thank you guys for watching and if you like the video please give it a like if you don't like the video please give it a dislike and constructive or negative feedback are always appreciated and yes all right thank you and see you in the next one goodbye